Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. We're in the Moon series in the last week of the Moon series and playing this Mewtwo team again today. So I hope you're all well, having a great day and looking forward to finishing up with this Mewtwo team because tomorrow and Friday I'm going to play different teams to finish up with the Moon series before we move into the Ultra series next week. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so short of breath, I just like pegged it up the stairs in the house so that is the reason why but yes without further ado let's get into this one today as always though if you enjoy this sort of content please make sure to leave a like on the video it does really help the channel out subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our daily battle series as well as all of our other pokemon content on the channel and uh, remember to leave comments down below because i love hearing from you guys that's a big thing so we had some really good games yesterday with this team so if you if you've missed them and you'd like to check them out there'll be a card up there for you you can go and check them out now um, and we've had some really good games with the Mewtwo team all this week hopefully we can finish with a double win today because that's the big thing that's what we want um, so close yesterday Groudon being Groudon yesterday though uh, missing with those blades at a crucial time in the match as it always is um, but I have a feeling Groudon's gonna redeem himself today a little bit maybe we end up not bringing Groudon though that's the thing maybe who knows? Who knows? But hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, I will cut straight to where we bump into someone. So we've got a first opponent of the episode going into it straight away. So we'll get into team preview. And we're going up against a Lunala, Venusaur, Groudon, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and purposely left to last, Rotom Wash, which you do not see very much in this format, but really nice to see the inclusion of it here. What we're going to see is the Lunala, the Groudon combination. We've seen it doing quite well recently, but in a different build, more of a Trick Room variant, and you can't discount a Trick Room variant here. May see an Electric Seed on the Lunala, um, but it'll be interesting to see what my opponent's going for in this first game today. I think what we'll do is bring... Hmm, I definitely want Incineroar here because the Intimidate support is really nice, especially against the Groudon. It gives us a nice switch in against that Lunala as well. So one of the things we could do here is potentially um, go with Incineroar of our own uh, up, up top just for the fake out support that we've got um, and potentially Groudon as well as a lead. And then maybe... Mewtwo, Tapu Lele in the back. Hmm, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Good luck to my opponent, and um, it'll be an interesting one to go into today to kick us off. But like I say, the goal is to end with two victories with this Mewtwo team today. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. So I'm, I'm pretty confident we can do it. It's taken me ages to find opponents on the battle spot today though, I think because it's coming to the end of the Moon series, people are like, ah, probably just give it a rest, have a little time off from Pokemon before the Ultra series kicks in. We are going to see the Lunala and Rotom Wash lead out for my opponent here. We'll get an Intimidate onto both, not really going to matter too much. Um, but it's fine, isn't it? Groudon's got to be a little bit careful about that Rotom, of course. Uh, but I think we'll go for a... I mean, we could knock off into the Rotom, because I feel like the Lunala probably does protect here, but at the same time, I just want to knock off that slot, and I think we will... Hmm, do I switch out Groudon? Into Lele. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch the Lele in and just get Lele onto the field now. Because I really feel like the Lunala probably... Switches out if, if not protect. Okay, it's just going to Tailwind. That's fine. I just don't want to leave Groudon to get burnt in front of this Rotom that it could potentially do, which we're going to see right now. So um, that is the thing. I think that was the big thing. We'll get the knockoff into the Lunala. <coughs> Got to deal with the Tailwind, which is a little bit scary, of course. Um, but I think if we're going to sack anything, I'm kind of most happy to sack Lele here. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. I don't want to switch Lele out into to Groudon to take a big Moongeist beam, which is always something we have to be a little bit careful of. I'll just try and get a side shock into this Rotom Wash. We're going to see Coco come in, which is fine. Um, I don't mind that one little bit. It kind of allows us to bring Groudon back onto the field as well. That So we're going to see an Electric Seed activate on the Rotom. It's a nice option there for my opponent to have. 
Um, if we went for the knockoff turn one, it would have been even better. But um, yeah, we're just going to see a hydro pump in the sun. Not going to be doing as much damage though to this Incineron. We'll be able to get the knockoff onto the core core and detect what item it's got if we can't knock anything off. Ah, uh, we do take the assault vest off, which is very good for us. We'll be able to side shock for sure. Um, I think the thing now is to try and get Groudon onto the field, which I'm going to do for Incineroar. And yeah, I'm going to go, I think, for a side shock into the core core here. Although we're probably better, like, it's just we're not doing too much damage to the Rotom. And we'll do a lot more to the Coco here. Nature's Madness coming out from the Coco into Lele. Okay. And hopefully if Lele gets through this turn, we'll be able to get it back in uh, with the Psychic Train the following turn. Because we should be able to switch it out now for Incineroar. Um, so we've got that terrain to bring in later in the game. But we'll protect Groudon, just stall out these last few turns of Tailwind and get Incineroar back onto the field. And we've got access to that fake out going into the next turn. Let's see what my opponent decides to go for here. Nearly Coco's Assault Vest, so cannot protect. That's one thing that we've got kind of in our favor going into this next turn if there's no switching here from my opponent. So we see the Groudon protect, see it doesn't gleam come out from the Coco. It's gonna do a bit of chip damage to our Incineroar, but not too much. It's not very strong and another Willow Wisp into that slot, so that's fine. Um I mean here we're pretty Oh. It's not very good, is it? Our opponent disconnects. Hmm. It's unfortunate if it was just a mishap. Because that was an interesting game, but we'll go into our next one. And we'll just continue. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. As always, I'll come back straight to when we do. We've got our next opponent of the episode. We've got Roy I and running a team of. Let's get into it. Talonflame, Cartana, Xerneas, Kyogre. Cinero and Toxicroc. So this is going to be a really great match for us to go up against. I think uh, straight away we can identify that Tapu Lele is going to be really good in this game. And uh, denying the Talonflame any sort of priority attacking from the get-go with that Psychic Terrain. And just being scarfed as well gives us a lot of options against a lot of different things on my opponent's side of the field. Do I want to lead with Mewtwo though? That's the question. I think Mewtwo is going to be quite nice here. My opponent probably goes for a Tailwind early doors, I think. Um, Groudon, we definitely need. And probably Incineroar or Venusaur. Um, or a Selgo even. A Selgo could be super nice here. Really, like a Selgo lead. Could be really good. We'll have to watch out for the Incineroar, of course, but. Um, hmm. Maybe a Selgo. Do we go a Selgo? Nah, nah, nah. We'll go Incineroar, I think. Or Venusaur. Venusaur could be really good as well. Well, I need to make my mind up. I think let's go Incineroar. Let's just stick with that one and lock in. Good luck to my opponent. And uh, hopefully we don't get any more disconnections going into this last episode with Mewtwo before we, um, we move on to a new team tomorrow and Friday. And it's a high rated opponent as well, so it should be a pretty good game. So Incineroar Talonflame coming out for my opponent here. Yeah. Mewtwo Lele. Alright. We could double the Incineroar here. Moonblast, Aurora Sphere. Gotta worry if it's uh, Assault Vest, of course. But the tap. The, I mean, the Talonflame just goes for a Tailwind here. That's all it does, I think this situation we can't really deny it because of the gale wings um, and one thing I would like to potentially do is moonblast and hmm aurora sphere yeah and hopefully that is enough to get the incineral let's just do that hmm hopefully it is enough time flame tailwind yep yeah. Incineroar might just U-turn as well, so we might get away with it a little bit. If we don't pick up the knockout. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close, I think. Ugh! We just miss out. Okay, what are we going to see from the Incineroar? 
you turn. I mean, that's bearable. We can we can deal with that. Kyogre. Kyogre, I think, comes in. Maybe Xerneas. Don't mind the Xerneas coming in right now. Because if it wants to do yeah, it's a Kyogre. Yeah. We do have the Groudon switching. We have to be careful about um I think we get Lele out. Uh bring Groudon in. Um Talon Flame. What's it gonna do? Can't really attack us, it has to flare blitz. Probably wants to flare blitz and cover a Groudon switching. Um, I could potentially keep me two around for later on and bring Incineroar onto the field just to get an Intimidate onto that Talon Flame, which might be nice, and then we can potentially fake it out the next turn. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's not risk our psychic pairing here. I fully expect a Flare Blitz into that Mewtwo slot. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. That's why I prefer to, because I don't think we'll take a Flare Blitz in the sun from Town Flame. No way. Because I can't Brave Bird at this point. Just with the Psychic Terrain up here. Yeah, it's going for it. Hopefully it's not into Groudon. That's oh, into the cat like we thought. Yeah. And then a Water Spout. Yes. We should take this all right. Oh, dear. Man. That's like Specs damage. That has to be Specs Kyogre. Oh. What do we do now? That is not ideal because Groudon's in a terrible position. It's just going to get taken down this turn. Uh, we can't fake out the Kyogre. I mean, we can, we can fake out the Talonflame. I don't think we take. I think the Talon Flame probably switches out. We could potentially try and U-turn out uh, or just knock off the Kyogre. I just don't see us taking a potential water spout though here. Brave Bird. Yeah, into Incineroar. It's going to chip us down enough so the water spout finishes us off. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I think we have to do is bring in Mewtwo. I'm gonna have to sack Groudon and then hope we can clean up with Lele Mewtwo. Because we can deny the Talonflame another Tailwind. That's the thing. Uh, okay, let's just go Groundium. There's no way we get a Groundium off like Tectonic Rage, but I mean, if ever there was a time to try and get one off and take the Kyogre down that would be it would be ideal if we could but I don't see it happening I'm gonna see a Z move it's gonna be the supersonic sky strike from the talent flame probably into the Mewtwo just to get some damage off onto it now uh, good job we're behind, behind the protect and we've already got the intimidate onto it doing nothing. What's about? We cannot stop this, but the Tailwind ending this turn is uh, our only lifeline. <clears throat> Good job we didn't keep our Psychic Core in against it. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, Tapu Lele coming in now. I think we just Psy, Psy Shock, the Talon Flame, Psy Strike, the Kyogre. The Kyogre might switch out now. But we'll be able to stop the Talon Flame from tailwinding here, at least. We might see the Incineroar come in on that Kyogre slot. Could definitely be an option for my opponent. Just gotta hope we've got... Well, 
not got too many turns of psychic terrain left. Yeah, there's the. Mm. Maybe if we guessed there and then got the. Yeah, that would have been way better because the, the, the fake out support that we're going to see now is really quite awkward for our Tapu Lele to function as well as we need it to. So there's the Talon Flame gone. Yeah, we needed to, I think, make the. Yeah. Because now we've got the fake out support, which is not ideal. Probably Xerneas coming in now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is really tough. Because it can just Geomancy. Just Geomancies, I think. And we can't really do anything about it. Then um, we can Psy Shock and Psy Strike. But then we're leaving the, the Incineroar unchecked. If my opponent's smart here, they protect the Xerneas and just snipe something with Incineroar. Because it is, but like, the Xerneas pulling all our attention right now. There's the fake out. Okay. Side like shock. If we get a crit here, you never know. But we're not going to be able to deny the, the Geomancy. Yeah. And that's game. That is game. Set and match. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. Just the Specs Kyogre though. Just that damage. Getting it into, like, changing the weather doesn't even make a difference. Um, and it would have been, I think, it's hard to bring Venusaur in this match, but maybe this would have been a better one for Selgo. Um I think you just dazzle here, don't you? <sighs> there's nothing we, there's like nothing we can do. We can just Psy Shock and Aurora Sphere. Because we're not going to take any, we're not going to take... Yeah, we're not going to take the Dazzle from the Xerneas. Maybe with Lele, but not with Mewtwo. Nah. No way. So good game to my opponent. I think the, the, the Specs Kyogre, and especially in a best of one situation, it is it is one of those things that if you kind of don't expect it, it will catch you off guard and it will just destroy you like it did. I mean, look at the damage it did to Groudon. We're running a bulky Groudon in this team. Uh, took us down to 62 HP, which is just insane in the sun. Um, so, yeah, allowing our opponent to get the tailwind off, and we, we didn't really have a way to get around that either. I mean, we could have led a little bit differently in this match, I think. That's the big thing, but we will move on and find our next opponent and finish off with hopefully a victory. Hopefully a victory. That would be good. That would be the only thing. We've got to do it for me too. Got to do it for me too. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, I will cut straight back to where we, we find one, guys. And we have our last opponent of the episode, so we're going straight into it and hop into team preview. And we're going up against Kyogre, Lunala, Stack Attacker, Incineroar, Ludicolo, and Tapu Fini. So we've got that Kyogre, Lunala combination that we don't see too often in the Moon series. A really nice combination as well. Normally seen with Tailwind support there to support that Kyogre a little bit better. But it could also have Trick Room. That we've also seen tend to be something played on Lunala recently. What are we going to do though? We definitely need Groudon in this matchup for the Stack Attacker, the Kyogre, the Weather Wall, the Incineroar. Um, but I think what else do we want to do? We want to try and prevent any sort of trick room setup as well. So, I mean, Tabulele Mewtwo do a nice job here. We're going to have Groudon in the back and then probably Incineroar as our last Pokemon. Makes a lot of sense. So, we'll just click in and get straight into this one. Yeah, I think Incineroar we definitely need in this match, just for the Lunala having that nice switch in in case it gets a bit threatening with its Z move that it could potentially have on there. Uh, we could see Scarf Kyogre, but if it is, then Lele deals with it pretty nicely. Um, we've got to be careful though, because the speed control here is going to be the thing that like clinches the match and puts my opponent in a way better position for them to kind of close things up. So we'll see what they approach with. We're going to see the Lunala Incineroar come out for my opponent. We know from previous games we're not going to be able to double up into the Incineroar and get the KO there, but we can potentially chip with Dazzling Gleam and go Shadow Ball into the Lunala, but as we've seen our opponents do, they kind of tend to want to protect the Lunala a little bit more and, and know that this is probably an obvious thing that we're going to do here, uh, so maybe approach it a little bit differently. At the same time, we've got to worry about maybe Trick Room coming up from that Lunala or a Tailwind and then the U-turn pivot from the Incineroar, so I think to kind of combat that, uh, I'm going to Dazzle and go Shadow Ball into the Lunala, and hopefully we can pick up it. The, the KO there because that would be amazing getting such an early advantage uh, in turn one of this game. 
But like I say, players kind of tend to want to protect their Lunala a bit more and are threatened by this combination. As we're seeing here, just the Lunala protect. And the Incineroar probably going to... Mm, I don't know, knock off the Mewtwo, maybe. Do get a little bit of chip damage. Yeah, Shadow Ball. Oh, it's just you turning. Okay, into Mewtwo. So it means Mewtwo can stick around for another day, which is always good. But what are we going to see come in? Is it going to be Kyogre? Hmm. Potentially. But I mean, the next turn, you've got to think that my opponent probably is going to be forced to switch that Lunala out because of the threat of the Dazzle, Break the Shadow Shield, and the Shadow Bubble on top of that. So I'm not really worrying about that slot next turn, depending on what comes in on the other side of the field. If it's Kyogre, then you've got to worry about the Scarf a little bit. Um, and Lele is not in a position now where it can do significant damage with just Dazzling Gleam. So we probably will have to reposition. So the type of Finny is going to come back in now. Okay. Get rid of the Psychic Terrain. Oh, what do we do? Do we snipe the potential Incineroar coming back in with an Aurora Sphere? It's not a bad play. Um... Like, the Lunala cannot stay in, can it? There's a part of me that just wants to... Shadow Ball again, just in case the Lunala decides to stay in. Like, double bluff my opponent. I'm going to do it. Dazzle. I don't feel like the Finny's going to have anything to take down the Mewtwo. They generally don't um, have anything that's capable of KOing us. And it's denying the speed control that I'm really worried about. So if my opponent really wants to try and go for it, then... They can here, but they will go down. So Finny going to protect the Lunala, actually not switching out, so we should be able to get the knockout here with yeah, the Dazzle. So um, By not second-guessing ourselves here, we're, we're not getting punished for that. So we do break the Shadow, the shadow Shield, and Mewtwo are going to be able to pick up the knockout here onto the Lunala with the Shadow Ball. So, yeah. I mean, it turns out we do make the, the right decision, but it's, it's still a difficult one because the Incineroar switch in there is such an easy one for my opponent. We'll probably see the Kyogre come in now, if not the Incineroar. Um, but then again, another Dazzling Gleam and then an Aurora Sphere would be enough to probably get the... In hmm, nah, I don't think it would. I think we'd still be quite short of the knockout there. Um, but it's a nice time to bring Groudon onto the field, although... I do worry about bringing Groudon out before that Kyogre hits the field because we want to try and lock the, the weather when we can. Um, we could keep Lele in for sure, but I uh, feel more inclined to bring Groudon and Incineroar in. So I'm going to bring Incineroar in that slot and then Groudon in on the Mewtwo slot. So we get the sun up, uh, get Groudon in, it's just madness. Ooh, it misses the Incineroar, but I was expecting it to be in that slot anyway. I'm going to see a U-turn out with the Incineroar, it's going to pivot into the Kyogre, which makes a lot of sense. But we do have access to the Fake Out now, so we can potentially Fake Out Grandinium Z into that Kyogre slot. Um, yeah. Which I think I'll do, because I... I kind of expect the Kyogre to be scarfed on this team. Like, you kind of got to always expect the Kyogre to be scarfed. So, we'll fake out, we'll ground in him. If my opponent doesn't bring the Incineroar in on the Finny slot, then we should pick up the knockout here if it is Scarf Kyogre. That's the thing. Um, it might not be as well. Obviously, with lots of support around it, speed control wise, it might not be. But we are going to see it is going to be scarfed. We do get the Tectonic Rage off. And this about wraps up the game for us now. The Tapu Fini's probably only got Nature's Madness, Icy Wind at best to try and chip us down, but I don't think it's going to be enough now with Groudon, even in the rain, to um, unless it's got Muddy Water, of course. It could have Muddy Water. <laughs> it could do. But at least we'll be able to finish with a win with the Mewtwo team. It did a little bit of work at the start, obviously getting rid of the Lunala is the big thing here for us, um, and then Groudon coming in to uh, take advantage of, yeah, the heal pulse coming out. All right, that's fine. Um, 
and now in cinema we're just going to hit the field once again but I don't really feel like we even need to switch out now we can just go for a knockoff into the type of thing get rid of a berry and just start throwing out some blades and hopefully grad on has he specs on like we were saying earlier and uh, doesn't miss miss a trick here I guess they will go for that knockoff into the, the finny um, and just check out some blades as long as we get a little bit of damage onto the, the incineral now It's gonna mean that the Aurora Sphere when we come in with Mewtwo is enough to pick up the knockout But my opponent forfeits so that is that and uh, that ends it up with the Mewtwo team So like I said at the beginning of the week we'll play Mewtwo till today And then tomorrow we'll play another team and then Friday we'll play another variation To finish off the Moon series before we go into the Ultra series next week guys So it's been amazing playing the Mewtwo team Thank you so much for everyone that voted for it on Friday Friday last week and over the weekend to have it showcased a bit more on the channel this week it's been really fun playing it I hope you've enjoyed it as well and uh, like I said we'll be back with another variation of something fun to play tomorrow so do tune in I hope you've enjoyed it have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again for the next one so until then take care and bye bye